What's going on all my YouTube buddies? I'm Jacob with another movie review for you guys. And in today's video, I'm taking a look at the 2014 animated film, The Lego Movie. So The Lego Movie was released in 2014 and the film was directed by Phil Lord and Chris Miller. They're obviously geniuses in the world of animation. They started out directing 2009's Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. They had even bigger success with the Lego movie. And since then, they've produced hit after hit after hit. Most recently, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, which won Best Animated Feature at the Oscars. They've also done live action work as well. They've done the 21 Jump Street franchise, for instance. Obviously, they almost directed Solo, but that didn't end well. I still want to see a cut of Solo, the Phil Lord and Chris Miller cut, because I'm sure that would have been the better cut than the version we got. But the Lego movie was what made me a big fan of Phil Lord and Chris Miller. The film was a monster hit, and the movie spawned a pretty profitable franchise to the Lego movie. Does it still hold up? Let's find out together. So in the first ever fully theatrical Lego movie, Emmett, an ordinary, rules-following, perfectly average Lego minifigure, is mistakenly identified as the most extraordinary person and the key to saving the world. He is drafted into a fellowship of strangers on an epic quest to stop an evil tyrant, a journey for which Emmett is hopelessly and hilariously underprepared. And this movie features an epic voice cast, including Chris Pratt, Will Ferrell, Elizabeth Banks, Will Arnett, Nick Offerman, Allison Brie, Charlie Day, Liam Neeson, and Morgan Freeman. So the Lego movie could have easily been a disaster. I think a lot of people, when the film was announced, thought it would be the lamest animated movie ever. They thought it'd be a 90 minute toy commercial encouraging everybody to buy Legos. They thought it'd be the biggest, the lamest product placement of all time. Boy, were we wrong. This is an incredible movie. This movie goes beyond just being an ad to sell Legos. It's actually a legit great movie. In fact, the movie that I feared the Lego movie ended up being, ended up being the Emoji movie. The less said about that turd pile, the better. The Lego Movie is actually a legit great movie. And I think the reason why it works is because they got talented directors like Phil Lord and Chris Miller who brought their stamp of energetic humor into the mix. Like, you can tell how much they love animation, you can tell how much they love storytelling, and they mix that with their humor and blended it into this Lego world. And the end result, it's a fantastic movie. The humor in this never ceases to amaze me. The movie clearly has a lot to offer visually with a lot of visual gags. It has a lot to offer in its comedy. It's got you know the basic slapstick comedy that entertains younger kids. But the writing in this is so sharp. There's a lot of meta references to pop culture. There's a lot of even smart social commentary in there about just the everyday life we live in and, and even some undertones in there as well which kind of leaves you thinking at times and the film actually does have a very engaging story. Emmett is actually a pretty relatable character. He could have been a generic character because he's written as the most generic Lego on the face of the earth who ends up becoming the special. But what makes this character work, not only because of Chris Pratt's incredible vocal energy who made the character work so well, but I think because the character is so easily relatable. Yes, he's the generic character, an average character, but he's just looking for acceptance. He's looking to find a life where people take him seriously. And that's, that's I think, the beauty of the Lego movie's message is on individualism, how unique everybody in the world is. You don't have to live in a society where you have to live under strict rules and regulations under 
the Lord Business character. Like I said, there's some crazy undertones in this film about different functions of society and government and stuff. When you accept the uniqueness of yourself, share it with others, and function together in your own unique way, that's the beauty of humanity. And that's what makes the Lego Movie work. I love the message that the Lego Movie had to offer. It tackles so much complex layerings and does it in such a unique way that kids can grasp and also adults can get a lot out of it too. And that's what makes the Lego Movie stand out so well. The animation in here is beyond stunning. It actually makes the CGI animation with stop motion animation and it blends so seamlessly. I love the attention to detail. Everything in this movie is Legos. Not just the figures and the buildings and everything, but fire is Lego. Water is Lego. And that's a technical feat that some of the other Lego films disappointingly did not have. But the Lego movie did it and it's stunning. It really is stunning. How this movie did not get nominated for Best Animated Feature at the Oscars is beyond me. Because this is a great film. I take it the Oscars are biased against Legos. They have something against Legos. Because some of these Lego movies should have been nominated for Best Animated Feature. And I'll never understand that to this very day. Obviously this film has an excellent voice cast. I brought up Chris Pratt. Some of the other standouts of this film, Will Ferrell as the evil lord business is deliciously over the top throughout. I love Liam Neeson as Bad Cop. He's one of my favorite characters in this whole movie. Liam Neeson does an incredible vocal performance. He is hilarious throughout. I especially love his good cop voice because it's fun hearing a higher pitched Liam Neeson and it cracks me up every time I watch the Lego movie. You got Morgan Freeman in there. Elizabeth Banks, Charlie Day, Allison Brie as Unikitty is another one of my favorite characters. There's this gag where she's trying to stay positive throughout and when her bad side finally comes out, it's one of my favorite visual gags of the entire film. Also, this movie has a pretty brilliant twist at the end. I am gonna dive into spoilers in this video, so you're warned. The twist of the movie is the entire movie is actually in the point of view of a young child who's playing with Legos and it's the bond between father and son and how they see the Lego world. The Lord Business character is actually a manifestation of this kid's dad who is actually played by Will Ferrell in a pretty clever twist and they both debate on how to play Legos. The kid just wants to play with Legos freely and be imaginative and creative and unique about it in connection with the film's message. The dad, on the other hand, loves the Lego set as he bought it and built it and just wants to glue everything and just admire it. So I love the dynamic between the two, how they see things differently and how they eventually bond and reconcile over the end and realize that the more imaginative way and playing is a lot more fun than just gluing everything together perfectly. And that's what I love about this movie, is this could have easily been a dumb product placement, but there's a lot more layers to the Lego movie than just, Hey, it's a Lego movie. Buy Legos at the end of this movie. Brought to you by Legos. There's a lot more to this film. It's got some brilliant messages, a beautiful heartfelt story, while also being deliciously funny at the same time. The score in here is pretty good too, and the soundtrack, everybody knows the song, everything is awesome. Yes, it's an annoying song, but it's annoyingly catchy as heck, and I still love it to this very day. It's such an infectious earworm that I get a smile on my face every time I hear it. It's such a clever song too, how it makes fun of the catchiness of modern pop music and the infectiousness, and that's why I love the song so much. The Lego Movie is awesome. There's no getting around that. It's one of my favorite animated movies that come out in the last decade. Easily one of my favorite non-Disney animated films. It's up there as one of the best. And it's all because of Phil Lord and Chris Miller's passion and creativity to the material. I think this is an excellent time. The film is consistently hilarious throughout. The jokes never ceases to amaze me. The storytelling is masterfully done. 
excellent voice cast all the way around. An awesome animated movie that, to this day, I still have no idea how it did not get nominated for Best Animated Feature at the Oscars. An incredible movie. I'm giving the film a 5 out of 5 stars. And on the 100 point scale, it's getting a 100 out of 100. So that wraps up my review of the Lego Movie. I hope you enjoyed this video. I plan on reviewing the other Lego movies sometime on my channel as well. Lego Batman, Lego Ninjago, Lego Movie 2. So be on the lookout for those reviews coming very, very soon. And if you've seen the Lego Movie, let me know down in the comments below. What did you follow the film? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, we'd be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it to be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, besides movie reviews, I also do TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!